in July we went to New Orleans. We went to the dance event and I want to show you a little bit of this event because it was beautiful. The atmosphere was fun and friendly and beautiful dancers for dancing. So, and also there was like a Mardi Gras atmosphere and we had the ball and we had the queen and the king. And look at those dancers and there was lots of country dancing and when you dance in country you have to wear all the appropriate costumes like hats and boots it was fun and beautiful So the first day we landed in New Orleans, of course, we went for a walk and it was so hot. It's hot in July in New Orleans and even though in Toronto it's also hot and humid and and I thought we're used to it, but no, it, it was <laughs> it was very, very hot. street you can always hear music music inside the cafes live music outside it's so much fun on our first lunch we tried famous po'boy sandwich the po'boy sandwich originated in 1929 when Electric Street Railway employees went on strike and the Martin Brothers gave away sandwiches to the strikers. When a striker came to get a sandwich, the Martin Brothers would call out, here comes another poor boy. That's how the New Orleans classic became known as a poor boy and was later abbreviated to Po Boy. And of course we tried as much as local cuisine as we could. We tried the rice cake in the place called Saint, Saints and Sinners. It was delicious. My husband had and my husband had alligator tacos, which was also delicious. This is historic streetcar line in the New Orleans, running since 1835, the oldest operating streetcar line in the world. And of course we had to try beignet, famous dessert in New Orleans and it's delicious and you can't stop eating it.
The Ursuline nuns braved five months of high seas, pirates, shipwreck, and sickness to come to New Orleans in 1727. Their convent located at Ursulines and Charles Street was supposed to be constructed within six months of their arrival. It took seven years. The Ursuline convent, the oldest brick and post building of the French colonial style in America, also housed the nation's first girls' school. It's no surprise that New Orleans or NOLA is steeped in fascinating history. Uh, if when we look in the architecture and cultural diversity, in fact, one of the most interesting facts about New Orleans is that the city has more historic district than any U.S. city. Of course, we visited the famous French market. You can find there anything you like, even dried alligator head. You can buy their food if you're hungry, lots of condiments, spices, and sauces. And we found their Tabasco. Did you know that Tabasco actually produces near the or New Orleans, and that's the only place where Tabasco is made? And in New Orleans, you can find lots of different types of Tabasco. American pirate Jean Latif gained notoriety not only for the goods he and his brother smuggled in and out New Orleans in the 1800s, but also the role he played in defending, in defending the city from the British during the War of 1812. General Andrew Jackson and his soldiers faced an invasion from the British, who were trying to take control of the Mississippi River. Latif and his pirate crew fought alongside Jackson in return for pardons for illegal pirate activity. And then he returned to piracy following the war for a few years. There is a little house for a cat, and it's like famous cat because it has its own Instagram. And you can watch, and you can see about this cat on Instagram. And then we came around the Marie Catherine Laveau. She was a Louisiana Creole practitioner of the voodoo, herbalist and midwife. She was very famous in New Orleans. Louisiana voodoo, also known as New Orleans voodoo, is, uh, is an African religion which originated in Louisiana. It arose through the process uh, between the traditional religions of the West Africa, Roman Catholic, Christianity, and Haitian voodoo. Today, voodoo remains in practice to serve others in, and influence life events in connection with ancestors and spirits. People still remember Marie Laveau and they bring in her charms and amulets. Also, we visited New Orleans City Park. Uh, we uh, learned that it used to be our, uh, last. It used to be last plantation, and now it's a park which houses countless attractions, recreation, gardens, and nature, art, and architecture. 
It's the largest outdoor attraction since 1854, with its iconic oak trees. New Orleans history is full of interesting facts, thanks to major events in the city's past, from French and Spanish occupation to slavery, jazz, and the origin of voodoo. There is always something new to be discovered about New Orleans. It was our first visit to this um, interesting city and we loved it. By the way, the Bourbon Street wasn't named after the famous liquor. Bourbon Street got its name back in 1718 when the city was founded by the Frenchman Jean-Baptiste Lemoyne and named uh, Bourbon Street after the French royal family ruling at the time, the House of Bourbon. The New Orleans was naming after uh, Regent of France, Philippe II, Duke of Orleans. And name, uh, and Louisiana got its name after French King Louis XV. St. Louis Cathedral is one of the New Orleans' most notable landmarks. From one side of the cathedral is a museum of the Mardi Gras, and from the other side there is a museum of Katrina Hurricane. The Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis, King of France, is the oldest Catholic cathedral in continual use in the United States. Pope John Paul II visited the cathedral in September in 1987. During Hurricane Katrina, um, it was da uh, the cathedral was damaged and nearby marble statue of Jesus Christ was damaged, losing, losing a forefinger and a thumb. Winds tore, uh, the winds tore a hole in the roof, allowing water to enter, allowing water to enter the building, and severely damaged the organ. Today, Jackson Square is an icon of the New Orleans and national historic landmark. Throughout the 18th and early 19th centuries, place, uh, Plaza de Armas became notorious as the site where public execution took place. so so much and it was so hot we got tired and we went for lunch in the restaurant uh, called Napoleon house we had their famous sandwich uh, the mofaletta it's uh, the quintessential New Orleans sandwich and the uh, a Nop and the a Napoleon house signature that pays homage to the Italian immigrants uh, the building's first occupant Nicholas Girard 
was major of the New Orleans from 1812 to 1815, and he offered his residence to Napoleon and in 1821 as a refuge during his exile. Today, New Orleans is well known for its jazz scene and for being the birthplace of famous musicians like Louis Armstrong and Buddy Bolden, who, by the way, is a father of the New Orleans style jazz. The next day we went to see alligators. Of course, visiting New Orleans and Louisiana, we couldn't miss these guys. Uh, we uh, went on a boat and uh, we saw lots of, uh, of alligators happily meeting us on the river. And our uh, driver knew all about the alligators, of course, and he told us a story where this female or a male, it was very interesting. Look at that, uh, there is this blue, there is a blue heron minding its own business and there is two gators around it and it's not scared. Why? Because gators don't care about heron right now because they are very territorial and they're watching each other. And this is little lady, uh, she likes to blow bubbles, isn't it funny and cute? And of course, everything around us was gorgeous.
and at the end we visited the Mardi Gras world. This is fascinating museum. It, but it's not really a museum, it's a, a working space. It's a tourist attraction. Uh, you can take a tour there uh, in a working warehouse where floats are made for Mardi Gras parades in, New, in uh, New Orleans. Uh, you get the feeling of the Mardi Gras in, in, in this place. It's the largest floor design and, and building facility. And you can see uh, people are working there for real. This is huge warehouse, home to huge working studio, and inside it looks like a, something of a movie production. These huge floats make months to be take take months to build and decorate, and this is where a large part of that happens. Painters and sculptors are actually working on pieces as we were walking through. And it feels like like we were being let in an, on a secret. It's a guided tour, but we could wander around on our own. Also, we were given a piece of the famous Mardi Gras cake. Other dancers may be on the floor Different mamas will see only you Only you have the magic technique What we sway on the way I can hear the sounds of violins Long before 